corn seed traits make you money? Well, my answer is, it depends. Well, certainly you have to pick the best genetics for your farm. That's where it all starts. You have to have a hybrid that can yield. But then you have to protect that hybrid. Now, corn rootworm is a real problem. And in some areas, it's worse than others. If you're in a continuous corn rotation, it's certainly worse than an area where, hey, I only raise corn once every 10 years. So you have to look at those things and see what you've got. So many times I'll talk to a farmer and they'll say, well, I don't know if getting a smart stacks hybrid is worth it. Maybe I just want above ground protection from corn borers and some of the other bugs like that. Okay, well, let's take a look at what the cost of that soil insecticide is, and then what kind of performance you're gonna get out of the soil insecticide versus having the trait in the hybrid. Well, it just depends. On the corn soil insecticide, you could spend as much as $25 per acre for a full rate of the very best insecticide out there in a smart box system, let's say. But, you know, the dries are going to be better. Force or Aztec, those are the two best products on the market. And depending on if you want bags or smart boxes and your row spacing, you're in the range of $15 to $25 an acre there. You could, however, go liquid if you wanted to. Now, it's not going to be quite as good, but you could go capture LFR for roughly $5 to $7 an acre. So that's a lot less expensive. There are a lot of people that are looking at that. But with the Capture LFR, I'd probably expect 80 to 85% control. With Force or Aztec, I'd expect maybe 90% control. It's possible to get up to 95. When you talk about the rootworm trait, as long as you've got two rootworm traits, because we're finding some resistance out there to single BT traits, if you've got two rootworm traits, you're probably 99.9% .9 control. So there is a definite difference there. For me, what I look at is, am I in continuous corn? Do I have really high pressure? If I do, I'm investing that extra money in the smart stacks. You know what, pressure can certainly vary from year to year. It's hard to guess, you know, is this going to be a bad rootworm year or not? But the important thing that I would say is on your farm, you need to do a little trial work each year to see what's paying for you. For example, for us, it's not uncommon at all that we would split the planter and say put a smart stacks hybrid in half the planter and put maybe a VT double pro hybrid in the other half and then use some rootworm insecticide on that at varying rates throughout the field to see, all right, does it pay to use a rootworm insecticide? Does it pay to use the smart stacks? And then with that insecticide, does it matter what rate I'm using? Am I gonna see a difference in yield? And that's where it all comes down to it is what is the end game going to be? How many dollars per acre am I going to net out on the farm? Which one's going to be better? Okay, let's step all the way back. Conventional, then you've got the above ground traits, basically corn borer, and then the below ground traits, rootworm. So in most cases around the country, we are recommending the above ground traits. That it doesn't cost much more money, and it does seem to pay. Besides that, the Roundup trait comes along with those things, and that's incredibly important if you want good grass control at any point during the growing season. But yeah, that rootworm thing, that's the question. And it all depends on how much is your seed going to cost more per acre. The big difference here is you can vary your seeding rates, you can't really vary your insecticide rate. So I'm just trying to say in certain areas of the country with your seed provider, it might only cost you 10 or $15 an acre to go smart stacks. But if you're running high population in other areas of the country, maybe it costs you $35 or $40 more to run smart stacks. So you've really got to look at that cost. But all I can tell you is we absolutely believe in these traits. It's just you have to run the economics all the time and make that decision whether or not it's worth it. I'll tell you on our own farm, if it's continuous corn, we're running smart stacks. We're still running some insecticide with it. If it's uh, rotation, we're probably not running smart stacks, but we're definitely throwing some insecticide out there just to make sure we've at least got some rootworm control in our lower pressure areas. And then it's just important to think about, hey, with that smart stacks trait, the rootworm has to take a bite out of the root to ingest that BT protein. Now, it's nothing dangerous for humans or anything like that, but hey, that rootworm does have to take a bite. So using the insecticide keeps the rootworms and other bugs off the root. So there is definitely a benefit that you're not getting out of the smart stacks by having that addition of insecticide in your furrow and around that seed zone. So once again, this is kind of a tough decision. Just take a look at what's your real cost. All we can tell you is if you look at the two rootworm traits, 
there is quite a bit of value there. Is it as much as what the seed costs? Well, looking at it this year and what the prices are, you could maybe go either way. But at least, hey, we've got some good options now. Not only do we have insecticide, we also have these nice traits. Well, all these options are great for bugs, Brian, but we have to control our weed of the week. We'll show you how to stop it coming up next.